Hello everyone, welcome once again to Ready Keep Food at Channel of Amazing Delicacies, African Traditional Foods, Modern Recipes, Breakfast Ideas, Travel and Event. If you are new in this channel, kindly watch my videos, go through my channel, watch my videos. If you love them, like, give them a thumbs up, comment, share with your friends as much as you can. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Uh huh, I appreciate you. So, guys, today I'm back with a recipe. In fact, uh, for the past uh, one month, I've been doing African recipe, and most of it is in uh, bananas, banana recipe from different countries. So, guess which recipe I have today? Today, I want to make some African recipe, and I want you just to guess and tell me from which country is this recipe. Comment there. If you find it, if you get it right, you'll get a reward. So let's cook together. This is what I have. This is gizzard. I've just washed, you can see some water here. I've just washed them. This is salt to taste. I have um, vegetable oil. The ingredients, I have red, green bell peppers, I have some tomatoes, I have onions, I have some garlic. And for this, I'm going to cook it together with this. So these are bananas. So from my past, my past uh, videos, I've been doing bananas. So I told you in East Africa, we call them matoke. Uh -huh. In other countries, like West African countries, they call them plantains. So, I hope you will forgive me for one. I'm, I'm making West African recipe. And their plantains are longer, longer, longer. There's normally, there's normally a place where I get them here in Kenya. But it was so unfortunate I did not get. The ones I got were no, just worse. So, these are ripe bananas. They are not very, very ripe. So guys, this recipe is very, very tasty. Kindly watch this video to the end. And the spices I'm going to use, I have turmeric and I have uh, tomato paste. So stay tuned. Gizzard, I've just washed them. Make sure you wash your gizzard well. Because when these guys are selling this gizzard, they don't really wash them well. So you have to wash them well before you cook them and then you have to cut it in two. Some people cut them in four, but I find it too tiny. This is why I cut them in two. So stay tuned. So guys, I've just cut this, and now what I'm going to do, there are two options. You can deep fry them directly, or you can boil fast so that they get become tender. So for me, I'm going to tenderize it. No, I'm not going to use any ingredient for now for tenderizing, but I'll just boil them. Stay tuned. Let them in here. Garlic. The reason why I'm throwing in this garlic to get rid of the smell of the of the gizzard. And for this, guys, you can see it's it's uh, there's some water also popping in. I'm not going to add any water. I'll just boil it for about 15 minutes and be done. So stay tuned. I've placed my gizzard to to boil. So I'm going to boil it for about 15-20 minutes. So meanwhile, come. We have two onions. One of them, I'm going to blend. So for blending, I'm not going to cut it in, in small portion.
and then I have some garlic and some coriander. I'm going to blend this and come with me. Getting from this vegetables here. Wow. So I will add some seasoning. That is, uh, this is turmeric. Just a bit of it. And some more. Ah. So, guys. The texture of this paste will depend on what we want. It will depend on where. If you want it fine, very, very fine, you'll continue blending. But for me, this is just enough. So I'll take it out and show you what I have. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. These are my bananas. And as my gizzard is still boiling, I'll go ahead and prepare it. Okay. Hey, guys, just comment there and tell me what you term this. This is this is a twin banana. See, in my community, they believe it's luck. So today, I must be having some luck. And it's not only one, guys. Look at this. Wow, this is a blessing. Uh -huh. So kindly comment down there and tell me which recipe I'm doing. The recipe, I'll just give you a hint. The recipe is from West West Africa. I told you I'm doing the African recipe. I'll share with you on how different countries do their bananas recipe. Mm -hmm. So I'll make sure you wash. I wash my bananas first before I did everything. So I will start by peeling them. Filling my bananas, I'm going to cut them this size. As you can see this, I'm going to transfer it somewhere else and continue with the rest. So I'll continue with the rest, it was a lot. But then I know my family would love this and that's why I decided to make plenty of it. Back to my gizzard, guys. You can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but still five more minutes, and I will take it out and see. So from here, still you cannot guess which country. I'm almost revealing that. Twenty minutes are over, and you can see the water has really drained, drained. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out my gizzard and then I will strain the little water. I will strain the little water which is here. I will just strain everything. Like this is my gizzard. So I've placed my deep fryer and in some vegetable oil. Okay. 
and then we let it cook for some time. It is ready. I'm just testing it to see if it's ready. I'm going to deep fry or shallow fry my these my bananas. So I guess from this point now you can tell which recipe is this. So guys, this recipe is from West Africa called Giz Dodo. Giz meaning geezer combined with bananas dodo. Giz Dodo is a recipe from Nigeria, most la mostly loved by Nigerian. So guys, this is uh, Giz Dodo from uh, Nigeria. My friend taught me how to do it. This is one of the recipes that I loved, loved, loved so much. So if you are not coming from Nigeria, you're coming from other African countries and you've ever tasted it, kindly comment and tell the others your experience on this recipe. Very tasty, guys. So you have to try this until they get but if you so wish, you can also just let it be a little bit. Okay, you can make it crunchy, you can make it brown, or you can take it out since it's ripe. So depending on your taste. So guys, I'm going to strain it out. I don't want it to be very, very brown. Because guys, it, it remember it's ripe. So when it's ripe, there's some sugar taste in it, which gives it the best taste so far. So I'm going to strain this oil. I will take it out. I'll do the last lot. So if you do it, you can do the unripe one. And then especially if you do them with the plantain, it comes out wow, wow, so nice. If you want to try it if you're in Kenya, check uh, the plantain from City Market, you will get plenty of them. I do not get at the moment. So I decided to use the Kenyan banana. Guys, look at my gizzard. Mm -hmm. So guys, one, one, if you boil fast before you deep fry, it is easier and it will be very, very tender. So that's exactly what I, I did. And I'm going to let them get golden brown. I'm going to take them out as well. Make sure I spread all the oil. I've removed some oil. That is just enough. So next. When my onions are still cooking, guys, look at my recipe. These, these are my bananas and this is my lizard. 
So just look at this. It's already looking yummy before the cooking ends. Uh -huh. I hope Alice is watching this video. In my house, we call it Alice's recipe. She used to love it. She could make it twice or thrice in a week. Till we, you get used to it and we love it. So guys, also try it out. You will love, love, love it. Thank you. So guys, once my onions are ready, I'm going to add tomato paste. So guys, here the paste consists of the bell peppers, red and green, tomatoes, onions, and coriander, and some garlic. Mm -hmm. So we are going to cover this. Let it cook. Remember guys, these things are raw. The ingredients are raw. So we have to cover it and let it cook for a while. So stay tuned. Done. So make sure you cook your paste well because guys, everything here I blended was raw. So you have to make sure you cook it well before you add anything else. So from here, I'm going to add my gizzard to this and my bananas. Hey, that's the aroma. Yes. Okay, so this time you lower the heat and cover it and let them cook together. Mm -hmm. So guys, this is my this dodo. This dodo. But look at this. So tasty. So kindly try it out. This is a Nigerian recipe. Gizzard with plantain. So thank you so much for watching this. Let's meet in another video. Bye-bye.